What's your 1919 cent coin really worth? In this video, we're gonna break down everything you need to know about your 1919 cent, how to sell it for the most money possible, what to look for that makes it valuable, and what these coins are actually selling for online and how much money you can get for your coin. We don't want you to get scammed, so pay close attention and let's hop right into this video. Up first, we have a 1919 one cent coin. Now do keep in mind, 1909 was the first year the United States produced the wheat cent penny coin. Now this coin from 1919 is a beautiful example and it's exactly what we're looking for on a coin that you want to sell online. So there are two big grading companies you want to pay attention to. That is PCGS and NGC. These are the two top dogs when it comes to grading your coin and the reason is they have been around for decades and they have tremendous value add when you get your coins graded with them. They have a money back guarantee. They are highly trustworthy and reputable in the the industry, getting your coin graded is not always the best idea. If you have a really beat up coin and it's not worth getting graded, you're going to lose time and money on your coin. So understanding the perfect time to grade your coin is really, really important. If you want to know how to handle and grade your coins, we have a completely free coin ebook down below, but more on that later. This coin right here, graded by PCGS at a mint state 66 red. Now these coins can come either red, red, brown, or brown, depending on environmental conditions and the type of metal it's struck on. Do not know that red coins will typically bring more value than red, brown, or brown coins, but that's not always the case. And the reason is because red coins are their intended mint state color. That's how they look when they're first designed and produced. Over time, they can just change colors. So every grade difference matters. This is a 66. If it would have gotten graded at a 67, it would have brought a lot more money, and each consecutive grade thereafter will bring sometimes thousands or tens of thousands more dollars. I know it sounds crazy, but it is the reality. This coin, because it got graded by PCGS at a mint state 66, it sold for 492 bucks. Now this coin right here is another really great coin. The only difference is the fact that it got the plus grade after the 66 grade there. Another thing I want to point out is that there is no mint mark on this coin. Now typically, if your coin has no mint mark, which is a small little letter around the date there most of the time, then that more than likely means your coin was struck at the Philadelphia Mint. The only difference of this coin is that it has a plus sign after the grade. So if a grader thinks the coin is really nice for its specific grade, what a grader is going to do is they'll add a plus sign. Now it might seem insignificant, but in the world of numismatics, the plus designation really does add value because they're saying, hey, this coin is really, really nice. You'll also notice a green CAC or CAC sticker. Now CAC is another third party company that certifies that your coin is in a proper graded condition. So they're pretty much grading the grade. It seems a bit redundant, but that CAC sticker will dramatically increase the value of your coin. There is a time and a place for the CAC sticker, specifically on more valuable coins. But once again, this coin sold for $1,560. Here's a 1919D coin. So you can see below the date, there's a small little D mint mark. It is a bit worn down, that D mint mark, but that's okay. This coin was graded by NGC at a mint state 63. So it's a lower graded mint state coin and it sold for 91 bucks. The same type of coin, right? A 1919D one cent coin, except you can tell this coin is much more beautiful. It sold for $9,300. So a 63 sold for 91 and a 66 plus sold for $9,300. Isn't that crazy? The price difference there, the grade really does matter as well as market timing. Understand that there are times in the market where the collectibles will either go up or down. Just like any other market, this is natural. Just try to do your best at selling your coins during a time when the market it's really hot. And that's mainly going to come down to just understanding the market, seeing when the best time to sell is, seeing how much your coin is selling in a similar grade, and if you're comfortable letting the coin go at that specific price during the market time. So once again, this beautiful coin sold for $9,300. We're going to show the same coin here. This is a 1919S. So San Francisco minted this coin. This one got graded by NGC at a mint state 64, and it sold for $264. So this coin right here sold for $9,300. It's a 1919S one cent coin, but it graded a point higher at a 65 and it got the plus designation and it was graded at a red coin, right? So you have red, red, brown, and brown coins when it comes to these Lincoln wheat cent coins. Red is the color that you really want. This one got the plus designation at a 65 grade. That is why you can get such a big spread in the value of the coins here. This one sold for $9,300. 
dollars. This is pretty crazy. So check out this 1919 coin, no mint mark, which means it was struck at the Philadelphia mint. There is a double strike happening on this coin, and the second strike is off center. This coin got graded as a mint error at an XF40, meaning extremely fine. BN means brown. This coin sold for $468. Now this one right here sold for $20,400. That is some crazy, crazy money for a little Lincoln wheat cent coin. This is a 1919S one cent coin graded by PCGS at a mint state 66 red. So as the condition of your coin goes up, so will the value. Every single point really, really matters. Once again, 20,400 bucks, $31,200 for 1919D one cent coin graded by PCGS at a mint state 67 red. That is the highest coin grade we are going over in this video. Very, very highly graded coin. If you're able to achieve this high of a grade on your coin, you want to sell the coin. The quicker, the better, in my opinion. You just be very mindful and careful where you sell your coin because that really can dictate the value, right? The last place you want to go is to a pawn shop. They will take advantage of you. What I recommend is going to at least three different coin experts and getting their opinion. The last thing you want to do is get an opinion from one person and then sell the coin later to find out you got scammed and ripped off. That is not a good feeling whatsoever. Do be very safe out there, guys. Pick up your completely free coin and currency ebook down below that's going to help you understand how to candle your coins, grade your coins, and how to evaluate them. Once again, this coin sold for $31,200. We'll see you in the next video.